In this short video, we'll talk about ubiquitin proteasome protein degradation pathway. So ubiquitin proteasome pathway is a system which is very critical for the cell which regulates protein degradation. Question is what is the utility of this pathway for a cell? Why it is important for the cell? Because this kind of pathway ensures that it degrades misfolded, damaged and basically non-functional proteins to maintain cellular homeostasis. So one can imagine this to be a quality control pathway as well. So there are two main uh, components to it. One is ubiquitin, which is a small protein, 76 amino acid long, and that tags the protein for degradation. So it's kind of like a degradation tag. And then there is a proteasome, which is a large proteolytic complex that degrades the ubiquitinylated proteins, which were previously marked for degradation. So it's kind of like a shredding machine. Now, this kind of pathway is pretty similar to this real life scenario. Imagine this particular sniper has to kill one particular uh, person in a crowd. But how does the sniper recognize who is the target person? Until and unless somebody tags that person, it's impossible for the sniper to look at that. And here the person may be a spy who pointed out this is the person to kill and then the sniper can kill. Similarly, the proteasome is the sniper. Proteasome doesn't know which particular protein to degrade. Proteasome doesn't know whether that protein is non-functional, aggregated or misfolded. So proteasome's job is just like a sniper to kill or to degrade. And the main job is done by the polyubiquitinylated tag, which is provided by these ubiquitin uh, uh, enzymes. Basically there are E1, E2 and E3 enzymes, which in coordination flag the particular protein with polyubiquitinylation mark. And that's the key mark for degradation by proteasome. So let us talk about the step-by-step -step process of ubiquitin proteasome pathway. So first of all, the E1 enzyme, which is ubiquitin activating enzyme, activates the ubiquitin in an ATP dependent manner. Then there is E2 protein, which kind of is a conjugation enzyme. So it's known as ubiquitin conjugation enzyme. It transfers the ubiquitin residues to a target protein. And it does that with the help of E3. So E3 kind of coordinates with the target protein and E2 transfer the ubiquitin protein uh, into the target protein, kind of flagging them for destruction. So E3 is the ubiqu ubiquitin ligase and it facilitates the transfer of ubiquitin from the E2 to the lysine residues of the target protein. Always remember that lysine is the residue that gets ubiquitinylated. After polyubiquitinylation, that means ubiquitinylation for several times, proteasome recognizes this polyubiquitinylation tag and degrades the protein just like a shredding machine. So in some word, proteasome is kind of like a molecular shredding machine. It's important to note that polyubiquitinylated proteins are destined to be degraded. So polyubiquitinylation tag is a tag that is interpreted for degradation. But monoubiquitinylated proteins might not be degraded. It's basically a, a kind of like a protein modification that can happen. So it doesn't require to be degraded, but a polyubiquitinylation tag would be. Now let us talk about the proteasome a little bit more. So proteasome has different component. It has a 19S regulatory particle, which recognize ubiquitinylated protein, unfolds them and eventually send it to the core. Now the core, which is marked here in the red is the main particle. It has the catalytic unit, which literally uh, degrades the protein and chops off the protein like a shredding machine. So there are two things that are happening. One is recognition, another is destruction of the protein. So here is a kind of like cross section view of the proteasome where we can zoom and see the head of the proteasome has the cap which recognize the particular ubiquitinylated polyubiquitinylated protein and channel those proteins and unfold that protein thread it through the catalytic core. So now we are going to look at that process in detail. So here is the cap, here is the unfolded ring. So unfolded ring's job is to unfold the protein from its native structure. There is a central cylinder which has the catalytic core shown in yellow. Now here is a protein that gets recognized by the cap using the ubiquitinylated uh, 
polyubiquitin related residue now notice how the protein is threaded through the unfolded ring to the catalytic core so the unfolded ring literally rips off the protein into its primary structure and pass it through this narrow ring eventually what happens is the catalytic core starts degrading the protein and chops off into small peptide fragments this is how proteasome works so overall there are two things the proteasome cap recognize the polyubiquitin related protein and the translocation of the protein happens to the catalytic core which degrades the protein in an atp dependent manner so clinically ubiquitin proteasome pathway is important for cancer dysregulation of ups pathway or ubiquitin proteasome pathway has been shown to uh, be associated with cancer it is associated with uh, neurodegeneration for example Al alzheimer's disease parkinson disease has impairment in ubiquitin proteasome machinery which which leads to protein aggregation because this is kind of like a quality control mechanism then there is in involvement of these pathway in infectious disease some of the pathogens literally inhibit the proteasome pathway to prevent uh, uh, things to be degraded so basically if immunoproteasome doesn't degrade them then it is never been recognized or never be displayed on the class 1 mhc molecule so that is why uh, many infectious uh, uh, pathogens suppress the proteasome pathway so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe you can get more notes and flashcards in our facebook page or instagram page please follow us links are provided in the description also Please pro help our channel with super thanks. Your small contribution is our big motivation. See you in the next video.